Hey guys, Raxon here from Saiyan and Raxon, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite Titanfall loadouts and maybe giving a little tips and tricks here on how to play the game a little bit better, except mostly we're going to have a separate episode for that. But mostly just how I use my classes and such like that. Um, so here we're going to have my first uh, pilot loadout. Uh, nothing too special. This is kind of my average all around um, just rolling with the carbine. I do have an AOG side on it because I do use an SMG in my second class for most of my um, running and gunning. So this I kept a little bit longer range on. Got the extended mag just so I can make sure I get all my hits off. Mag launcher so I don't have to sit anywhere too long. And I can still dish out damage while I'm, you know, running on walls or whatever to any sort of titans. Um, wingman, again, because I just want the long range hits. Um, <laughs> not that I really use it that often because it's freaking impossible to get hits with that thing for me. Um, got the cloak, the frag grenade, stuff like that. Just because I want long range um, kind of damage. I, I guess that would be the best way to explain it. And the arc grenade. Well, it's really handy. I, I love what it does to Titans. I just wanted damage on my first class. Got the ice pick, the quick reload. Um, nothing too fancy there. So, for my next class, this is the one I run with the most often. Um, in my earlier stages, I ran with the R97. Uh, not very particular on which SMG is better. Uh, I like both of them a lot. Uh, but here you see the car SMG. I've just got the good side on it, and I've actually went ahead and put a suppressor on it even though i usually don't do that because of the damage drop but i was getting so tired of like running and gunning and i use this class to take out some grunts every now and then um so it pisses me off whenever people see me just shooting a bunch of grunts and then suddenly i get killed um but yeah so again running with that mag launcher so i can kind of dish out damage as i'm running um got the ra45 auto pistol that's kind of I know it's two automatic weapons, but it's annoying whenever I run out of a clip in my SMG, and then I almost had that kill. So I have the auto pistol just so I can go ahead and finish up spraying and praying, basically, and get my kill. Um, I've got the stem because I definitely want to get up close and personal to these guys. Um, the arc grenade, because I do get in some situations where I love to rodeo people, and sometimes I'll just run up and then the titan will just back away. and. That's perfectly fine, so I just have the arc grenade so they can just not see anything. Um, run and gun, that way I can just spray and pray, like I said, if I get in some like tight close quarters rooms. And I actually run with the Guardian chip on this. Um, for my earlier stages, I do run with um, Warp File Transmitter usually, uh, because whenever I'm in a tight situation and I have low health, that's when I'll call in my Titan, that way I can go and hide inside of it. Um, and it's always nice to be able to hop out um, when I'm getting rodeoed and whenever the enemy will hop off to try and hunt me down um, my auto titan actually does a really good job of taking care of business on that end and he'll usually I can just run and hide and not have to worry about shooting him off the back of my titan and then my auto titan will kill him while he's just running around looking for me so that's come in handy quite a few times um, not the best thing in, in the world but I couldn't find anything better to really use it for um, so those are my two main classes. I guess I'll go ahead and show you my third class. Um, don't blow up in my face because it does have a smart pistol on it. Uh, I only use this for attrition where, um, farming grunts and specters and stuff really benefits the team. And then I can also kind of play it safe, hide on the walls and such like that. And take out a bunch of enemies that are just kind of wandering around because when I am taking up the grunts, I will pop up on the mini map. So I usually take out a big batch of grunts and then kind of sit and take it easy for a minute and see if anybody comes through. Um, yes, really newbie, but you know, that's how I like to play sometimes. <laughs> sometimes the running and gunning gets too annoying and I just want to get my KD slash XP boost up. This class is also really good for those times when you get those burn cards that give you extra grunt experience and build time and extra specter um, build time and such. So you can definitely rack up the points really quick that way. Um, definitely have the charge rifle because I plan on sitting back with this class. Um, so I'm going to want to get some good hits off. I love using the charge rifle and hitting them when their shield is down. And their um, critical hit spots, it takes off like half health almost. It's, it's amazing. 
Um, auto pistol again, just because sometimes I, I need to get those quick finishes. And um, active radar pulse. So if I am sitting and waiting, I can actually turn on my active radar and see if anybody's charging in. That's usually a good sign that it's a person. Satchel charges, just so I can be even more of a noob. Stealth kit, guardian ship, so I can just call my titan, not ever have to hop in my titan. Although that is also a good way to just rock around and crush the grunts. But um, yeah, I, I find myself liking the guardian ship just a little bit more than other things. I find it a little bit more useful. Um, the last two classes here I'm just going to skip over. Um, my shotgun and LMG class. I really just use those for hammering down titans when I'm like rodeoing and like last titan standing or something like that. Or I use the shotgun class if I get tired of other people shotgunning me basically <laughs> um so here we're gonna have my titan classes first titan class is um actually a strider i love the strider um if i'm actually going to be in the strider though uh if i'm just doing the guardian chips uh, nonsense i usually want to run with the ogre because this strider is just an idiot and will walk right up anyways even though he's got super low health so he'll just get obliterated but uh, anyways, so I've got the chain gun on him because I love just, I, I'm, I'm always dashing. So um, the 40 millimeter cannon is actually another good option, but I, I just stick with the chain gun because I can find I uh, shoot a lot more pilots easily with the chain gun. Um, and I'm always getting up in people's faces, so I don't really have to worry about the bullet spread at all. Um, definitely electric smoke on this one because I love just, I dash up, throw smoke. Usually if they, um, I'll dash back, if they chase me out, I'll do another big punch and that'll throw them into the smoke again. And I love the big punch. It's, it's hard to get used to, um, for sure, but I don't use it in anything other than my strider because another thing is with the dash core, when you punch them, they go flying back. Um, I've had a couple instances where I've actually like cornered a Titan in last Titan standing and been able to like punch them off the edge essentially, or back them up into that corner. So I'll, I'll throw my dash core where he's getting pushed back and then I can keep dashing up and just punching him as many times as I need to. And he usually doesn't know what the hell's going on. So tactical ability, um, uh, tactical reactor. Oh yeah, multi-missile target system. So I love that so much because I can just sit back, like let all my abilities recharge, then shoot all my missiles, go in, electric smoke, punch, you know, just go fucking crazy on them. Uh, and then the tactical reactor so I can use that smoke more often because that's kind of my getaway card there. Um, as for my ogre class, I don't really run with the the titan. The, the uh, damage core just... I mean, I guess it's useful, but I would rather... I can do more just the same amount of damage it feels like if I just stick, like, safe and use the shield core. And then I, when I do get my shield core, I can just run in and tank. And the triple threat is really good here. I also really like the plasma rifle. Uh, so there's a lot of good weapons that would work with this class. Um, I use the extended mag just so I can throw as many grenades out there as possible. Electric smoke again because I hate when people rodeo me. So I always want to throw out the electric smoke when people hop on my back. And then usually they get off and then I've already shot a bunch of mines probably around my feet. And then they hop off into a bunch of grenades. And hopefully that kills them. If not, I just use my one dash to get away. Um, like I said, this is my defensive class. So my kit is going to have a bunch of regen booster and core extenders so that my um, shield core will last longer when it's active. And when my shields are down, they'll regen um, in just a couple seconds. Um, also, I like the cluster missile because the triple threat, while it's amazing, it uh, definitely has a delay. And if people are on the roof, it gets a little tricky. So I like to shoot walls next to pilots or maybe there's a group of grunts or, or specters that keeps shooting me. Uh, just cluster missile them and gets them out of there. It's also good to combine that cluster missile in the smoke because then that's two AOE effects and it just destroys a bunch of people at the same time. So yeah, those are my classes. Um, leave a comment about what you think of them. Maybe you have some tips on um, maybe some better adjustments I can use. Um, I haven't really tried every single gun. I've seen a lot of people using the G2A4 lately, and that was a gun I thought was really crappy, in my personal opinion, for this kind of gameplay, but, you know, I could be crazy. Um, but here I'm just going to leave a little montage of me um, using my classes and a little sort of montage. Um, you'll see how I kind of use my classes there. Um, 
leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video or learned something and subscribe if you want more videos like this soon we're going to be putting up some tips and tricks on how to play specific object objectives um how to get a bunch of kills um how to xp farm um because even though even though you know xp farming is usually for losers but at the beginning of your prestige i really hate sitting there trying to get all my stuff back um, so we'll go over some of that stuff in the next episode, alright guys? Bye!